Hey what's up guys my name is Vinit and you're watching Tech Diaries. In this video I'm going to give you a full review of Samsung's new launch that is Samsung Galaxy On 8. Now I purchased this mobile from Flipkart on the big billion day because that's where the mobile has been launched. So I have purchased this for uh, 13,500 rupees. After purchasing it I have made an unboxing video as well. So in case you have missed it there is a link in the description below you can just go and check it out. I have been using this device for last three days now and on my previous video there were a lot of questions coming on the gaming performance the battery issues heating issues so I think I have covered all the aspects that you people wanted to know pardon me if the video is going to be a little long so for your convenience what I'll do is I'll be giving a timestamp to particular section reviews so if you want to jump to camera review you just have to jump to that particular timestamp and see the camera review so that will save you time and hope you like it so without any further ado Let's get started. Before starting, let's have a quick look at the configuration of this mobile. Uh, so I've shown this particular stuff in my previous video. So I won't be explaining the same stuff again. So you can pause the video if you want. Okay, the first thing that I'll be talking about this mobile is the build and design. This mobile looks rock solid. It fits in your hand really well. The metal frame gives it a really premium look. Though the back cover is plastic but there is no play to it. So you cannot just feel the press when you touch uh, the back cover. So I, I really liked it. Second point that I want to talk about this design is the volume rockers and the power button are on the different sides. So in case the mobile is not in your eyes reach and you want to perform any action on it, maybe silent a call or increase the volume. So there is no confusion. Some people might find it annoying, but I really liked it. There's only one thing that I dislike about the design of this phone is the camera bump at the back. It is not too much of lifted, but it bothers me a lot because then the lens become vulnerable to scratches. And this is the last thing you want to get a scratches on. So uh, you may have to buy a cover to cover this flaw off. The next thing I want to talk about this mobile is the network call quality and the data speed. Believe me, I have not faced a single call drop in these three days of usage. It was giving me quite a good network even in the lift or in the basement parking. The earpiece here does its job really well. You get a really audible, loud voice from the other side. Even if it doesn't sound loud to you, you can increase the volume by tapping one button on the call screen. And Wi-Fi connectivity is really nice. I have not tested the NFC though, but I don't really know who uses it. So, uh, never mind. Both these SIM cards support 4G VOLT. Though I face a little issue while registering this handset on Reliance My Geo app, when I used my Reliance Geo SIM card which I already had in spare, then it worked without any issues. Now I quickly want to jump into the battery review of this phone. With my daily usage, this phone lasted me around 19 to 20 hours. The usage contains uh, one hour to one and a half hour of calling all day 3G usage, some browsing, WhatsApp, Facebook, casual gaming as well. I think the battery backup is good enough for the price range they have offered. So coming to charging, the charger included in this pack is a 1.55 ampere and it is not exactly a fast charger. So I charged this mobile twice. For the first charge when I used the charger which is included in the box, it took me 1 hour, 40 minutes to 50 minutes to take this mobile from 5% to 100% of battery and in my second charge I used a fast charger of 2.1 ampere and it took me around 1 hour 30-35 minutes so there is a slight improvement but I, at this point I really don't know whether this chipset supports a fast charging or not so I'm really so sorry for that but if you use a fast charger if you have it then it is going to save you 15 to 20 minutes of time so I'll give it 8 out of 10 for this battery performance the next area I want to target about this mobile is the camera performance this mobile has a 13 megapixel rear shooter with f 1.9 aperture it has a single LED flash and it is capable of recording 1080p videos whereas this has a 5 megapixel front shooter with a single LED flash with f 1.9 aperture and is capable of recording 720p videos so I think for the price range they have offered the camera performance is phenomenal maybe it's a super AMOLED screen so while you're taking the photo it looks very sharp but one thing that I've observed is 
even if you share these photos on other devices and see there the image does not lose its crisp and sharpness so i think uh, this is really a good deal for the price range they have offered so here are some sample shots that i have taken from this mobile uh, from this rear and front camera and followed by some videos as well of samsung galaxy on 8 and the audio is being recorded from the internal microphone So the next area I quickly want to jump into is the display of this handset and believe me boy this mobile nails it Samsung nails it because Samsung is famous for making super amoled displays they are the sharpest they are the brightest displays right now available in the market and this mobile is no exception to it i love this display the 1080p full hd super amoled display does its job really well even if the brightest light watching movies and playing high end games is a bliss on this phone apart from this beautiful display there is one thing that i wanted to check but there is no authenticated source that i found and that thing is maybe maybe this phone does not have a gorilla glass cuz samsung's official website doesn't say that even if it is not there on any any other uh, tech websites so i think you may have to get a temper glass protector installed that is one thing that i dislike because if you're selling phone for 13500 you the customers expectations get higher and gorilla glass is something by default people expect so the next thing in my list is the sound quality of this phone and it delivers to expectations the speaker grill is located at the back so if you keep your phone in normal way the volume may be suppressed Even the output via the headphone jack is phenomenal. The headphones that are provided in the box are of really cheap quality, and these are not the in-ear headphones. But if you use your other headphones, which has a good quality, then this 3.5 mm headphone jack delivers the best of the performance. The next thing I would like to talk about is the software part. It comes with Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 out of the box with Samsung's famous TouchWiz UI with lots of bloatware and things which you can't get rid of. So that is something which is annoying to me. If you're giving us something, then at least give a permission to delete it because I may not need it and it is going to be there in my memory. It first of all it has a 16 GB of memory and and maybe there are 500 600 MB's bloatware installed which gets updated every time so it eats your data also now this is something samsung really have to work on and apart from that it has many new features which samsung has added in recent phones that bike mode then you have super data saver or super battery power and all that stuff yeah like miui they have their own cleaner and antivirus and all the stuff so the look and feel is really good but one flaw is the bloatware apart from that i think i'll give it 7 out of 10 now the last and the most favorite question that everybody asked how is the gaming performance on this phone so first of all i'm going to test three games on this asphalt nova 3 and modern combat So I've kept all the graphics at the high end. The Super AMOLED Full HD display makes the gaming performance really good. Let's see how exactly the game performs. I see there are some frame drops, not much, but there are, and the game exactly not smooth as expected. considering this phone has 3 gb of ram but cpu performance is doesn't seem to marry it
let's check the temperature now it is showing 36 degree earlier when I checked it was 32 so it's slightly warm but it's not too much now we'll see how it performs for Nova 3 for this game also I have set the graphics at the highest level well the animation and the look and feel is really nice thanks to this super AMOLED display hope the performance also matches to our expectations few frame drops here and there I see there is a bit of a lag the game doesn't seem to be performing smooth as expected sorry for that pathetic performance because I'm not a hardcore gamer we'll see now what is the temperature well that doesn't seem to be increasing a lot so it is a good sign now I'll play modern combat and see if the lag continues for this game as well Well, this seems to be smooth as compared to the previous two games I've played. Ah, there you see a lag, so playing games on this phone at the highest graphics may not be possible for you guys this may sound sad news for most of you but that is the reality to summarize uh, i have one section left which is things which are missing in this phone the first thing that i miss is the fingerprint scanner i mean come on it's 2016 and you get fingerprint scanners in 8000 rupees 7000 rupees phones i don't think that cost too much to you so if you would have added this particular part i think this phone would have been the perfect phone for the price range so that is the one thing that i miss and second thing that i miss is the led notification maybe i'm used to that but that just me so this concludes my full review of samsung galaxy on 8 i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more gadget reviews and travel experiences hit the like button if you like this video if you have any questions or feedback post them in the comment section below i'll try to answer all your queries this is Vinit signing off you people have a great day and as i always say stay safe and drive responsibly